you want to head up to the Heidelberg Kessel. Well, you don't have to walk up the hill, fortunately, although that's an option. If you feel energetic, there's several paths and staircases that will lead you up the hill. But you can easily catch the funicular. The round trip fare is very reasonable, so you might as well save your strength and take the five minute ride on this very efficient inclined rail car. For now, you get off at the Schloss Castle Station and you walk through the arched gateway and start out by walking left onto the terrace for this grand vista looking down on the town below. You can see how the castle is built on steep cliffs to prevent invasion from the front and with high walls and a dry moat protecting the rear. Castles like this were powerful sanctuaries in the Middle Ages. Back then, they didn't have unified governments in a country that protected each town. It was the feudal system where really each town was on its own, almost functioning as a city-state. And so these castles were critically important to safety and security and the protection of the ruling class. But then later when they were attacked by the large cannonballs that were introduced in the 16th century and 17th century, the mighty walls could be blasted to dust. Once inside the castle, you'll be delighted to see the beautiful state of preservation of the main buildings. Some wings are well preserved while others are extremely damaged. Adding insult to injury, after the castle was devastated by the French artillery, it was struck decades later by a massive lightning storm in 1764 that burned down half of the surviving structures. As you stand here in the courtyard, surrounded by the castle, your eyes will be drawn, first of all, to the impressive Renaissance facade of the Friedrich Building. An archway on your left leads from the courtyard to the Great Terrace, offering another spectacular vista of the town below. The Castle Terrace is also such a scenic spot. It makes a fine place for your wedding photography. Be sure to visit the cellar on the left side. This is really one of the highlights of the castle because it contains the world's largest wine barrel. It was made from 120 large oak trees and it has the capacity of 275,000 bottles of wine. Perkeo was the castle jester who loved to drink wine. Why not? There's also a decent restaurant at the castle with an excellent wine collection. Your basic ticket to the castle includes a visit to the German Pharmacy Museum, which has several basement galleries covering the history of medicine and pharmaceuticals. Now this is a lot more interesting than it sounds. It presents a fascinating collection of original laboratory instruments from the 16th through the 19th centuries, which look so primitive they really show you how far we've come with our own modern medicine. One room is a faithful reproduction of an old apothecary shop. But when you finish with the castle courtyard, have a last look around to admire the various facades, the pretty little fountain. The oldest building here in the courtyard actually is the old library. You can still see the Gothic windows. The crumbling round tower on the corner is a testament to this new age of destruction that came with those French invaders. The next stop is the Castle Garden. Look at the views from the Belvedere Terrace. Explore the gardens. Got him. You don't want to leave the castle without taking a good stroll through these vast green terraces, which have quite a history of their own. It's worth walking to the far end of the Castle Garden to get another excellent view of the town from a different angle than you've seen previously. And there are several lovely fountains scattered throughout the garden, especially at the back edge where a voluptuous river god lounges in a grotto. When you're finished with the gardens, you can take the five minute funicular ride back down to continue your explorations and shopping adventures in the old town. Or if you still feel adventurous, you can ride that funicular up to the top of the mountain, 1600 feet high. There's a small amusement park up there. You could then ride down on the funicular or you could even walk all the way down. It's an easy 
downhill path through the woods and back to town.